Today I'll be digging deeper on Saudi Arabia and in particular the common misconceptions about the kingdom. Crooked Compass recently hosted a tour there and so what was it that we found out? Myth. Women in Saudi can't work in tourism. We visited the oasis city of Dadan, home to the famous lion tombs and the site of Jabal Iqma, an open library of Nabataean inscriptions. At both sites, we had female guides and at the latter, a female driver. Myth. Foreigners must wear traditional Saudi dress. Female travellers to Saudi were required to dress in traditional Saudi attire and cover themselves head to toe. But during COVID, Saudi Arabia's king relaxed these rules in a bid to open up for more tourism. His hopes are that visitors will be respectful of the culture nevertheless, and still dress conservatively, covering elbows and knees. Myth. Locals must wear traditional Saudi dress. This is now optional for both men and women. Dining at Okdo, at the edge of the world in Alula, a stunning sunset viewing point, there were locals in Western clothing and even hoodies. It's no longer mandatory for women to be covered from head to toe, and I saw many women removing either their face coverings, known as a niqab, or simply just wearing Western clothes as they got on with their daily lives. Many women still do choose to dress conservatively, but this is rapidly changing, especially amongst the younger generation. Myth, couples traveling together must not hold hands or dine together in public. Traditionally, Saudis have been incredibly conservative when it comes to married couples. And a great example of this is what I personally witnessed when I was at Alula's famous site of the Elephant Rock. Expectations and practices have certainly changed. Both local and foreign couples sat beneath the stars enjoying each other's company while sipping on virgin cocktails, of course, tucking into ice cream and pastries listening to live music. Myth, unmarried couples cannot stay in the same hotel together. Couples can stay together regardless of whether they are married or not. Myth. It is not permitted to take photos of women or with women in Saudi Arabia. Exploring the old souk in Riyadh, I was invited by a group of ladies to join them for a Saudi coffee and some sweet dates. They had never met Australians before, and so they wanted to learn more about us and find out the reasons for us visiting Saudi Arabia. They not only showed off their henna stained hands, but they were happy for us to take pictures with them, of them, both the males and females in our group. As you can see, there is so much change and so much progression happening in Saudi Arabia. And if you'd love to know more about our tours and what we offer in the region, please head to our website or drop us an email.